racing in Indianapolis. This one for heads to third, one first. John got right with him. Steva has dropped back. E.J. Boyd is in fourth. The green flag dropped. We started the race. Had made a couple of pit stops, I guess. All of a sudden, here comes Gordy. He's backing up to me. And I pass him, and I'm in second place. Pretty soon, here comes A.J. And he's backing up to me, and I pass him, and I'm in first place. We're on the 100th lap now, and by the way, one more lap, and this would be an official race. This is the halfway mark, 200 laps of the two and a half mile track. I'm there, the yellow flags come out, it's raining. It's raining. It started to rain, and this was just past halfway in the race, which means if you run out of daylight and they choose to, they can call the race. So we're, we weren't even thinking about that. I was worried about the fact that AJ and Gordy were going to get to fix their cars. We're sitting there ready to restart the race. Just before Tony was going to say, gentlemen, restart your engines, the bottom fell out again and it just rained really hard uh, for just a little bit, but it was, the track was totally drenched, standing water. They knew they couldn't get it finished before dark. So they, they said, that's it. And I, I, that's another first at Indianapolis. I've won the shortest Indy 500 in history. There is simply no way that we can drive this track and keep it dry for the next two or three hours. So the 1976 winner is Johnny Rutherford. And the high game it's all over. A.J. Foyt literally like a man caged by fate right now, walking up and down. No idea where he's going. Johnny Rutherford being escorted by the press, by the photographers, headed towards Victory Lane with his wife, Betty. They said I was the first driver to walk into Victory Lane, which is any way you can take it, I guess. 